Hey guys, quick update. Sorry it's been a really long time. I do have some projects in the works, but it's, you know, slow going. I have some pretty cool news for anybody who has ToneNet or Amplitube by IK Multimedia. I've been tinkering around with creating some captures of a couple of rare and pretty cool amps, including the Marshall 4140 Club and Country Combo. That's a really important amp for Alex Lifeson's 80s sound. Uh, it's on moving pictures, signals, breaks under pressure, and power windows. Um, and also, the Galleon Kruger 2000 CPL, I've got some, I'm tinkering with some captures on that too. Um, that's another really important amp for Alex Lifeson's sound from 1987 through to the mid 90s. Like I said, I'm tinkering around, you know, they may not be the greatest captures, but I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get a hang of this uh, Tonex thing. These captures are available for free on ToneNet. I'll have a link to that in the description. And I'm gonna keep, you know, working on new captures and different settings and things. Um, currently, uh, as I record this video, the Marshall capture is just the head, you know, so it's just the preamp and power amp. Um, I didn't capture the speakers. So you'll wanna pair that with a speaker emulation of your you know, your favorite speaker emulation and play around with different ones. Um, the Galleon Kruger, same thing, uh, it's just, I just captured the preamp. Alex Lifeson was using Celestian uh, G12 M70 Greenback speakers. That's, those are the speakers that came with the uh, Galleon Kruger 212 GS cabinets, which he used six of them. He used four on stage and two off stage in um, isolation boxes. So, you know, so that's, you know, you can use whatever speakers you want, but that's a good starting point. I'll have links to these captures in the description on uh, ToneNet. Um, additionally, I'll also have a link to a discount on DistroKid if you want to check that out. Um, you know, so there you go. I'd like to make a full video really kind of going over these captures and stuff in the future, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep uh, working on captures and put some different ones out there. But I've decided to share my progress so far um, and my first attempts at these captures. So check that out and enjoy.